God is going to honor it and give us something that we've never had before in our spiritual experiences. That we're in for a great time of spiritual revelation. Uh, these classes, of course, are completely non-denominational. They have no relationship to any denomination on the face of the earth. Come take a ride on this subway train. Get into this lane, Jesus' lane. I have a word for you, and the word is God. The narrow and wide gates. Enter through the narrow gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the road that leads to destruction. And many enter through it, but small is the gate and narrow, the road that leads to life, and only a few find it. Matthew 7, 13. God disciplines his children. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. And have you completely forgotten this word of encouragement that addresses you as a father addresses his son? It says, my son, do not make light of the Lord's discipline and do not lose heart when he rebukes you because the Lord disciplines the one he loves. He chastens everyone he accepts as his son. Endure hardship as discipline. God is treating you as his children. For what children are not disciplined by their father? If you are not disciplined and everyone undergoes discipline, then you are not legitimate, not true sons and daughters at all. Moreover, we have all had human fathers who disciplined us and we respected them for it. How much more should we submit to the father of spirits and live? They disciplined us for a little while as they thought best, but God disciplines us for our good in order that we may share in his holiness. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful later on. However, it produces a harvest of righteousness. Peace for those who have been trained by it. Therefore, strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. Make level paths for your feet, so that the lame may not be disabled, but rather healed. Warning and encouragement. Make every effort to live in peace with everyone and to be holy. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one falls short of the grace of God and that no bitter roots grow up to cause trouble and defile many. See that no one is sexually immoral or is godless like Esau, who for a single meal sold his inheritance rights, his birthright, as the oldest son. Afterward, as you know, when he wanted to inherit this blessing, he was rejected. Even though he sought the blessings with tears, he could not change what he had done. In Jesus' name, church. This is a word to the wise, to the church.